What's going on, everybody? And welcome to another episode of the Hot Toys Lounge. I hope everybody is having a fantastic Saturday. I know I am. I wanted to come on and go live and hang out with you guys for a little bit. You know, um, I know a lot of people weren't too happy with the uh, with the Prime One uh, event. So I wanted to come on, do a little bit of the Hot Toys Lounge, um, unbox some stuff. I got stuff piling up, so I need to unbox it anyway. And we did the Lego Lounge Thursday night. So I wanted to come on and hang out with you guys for a little bit. So hope, again, everybody's having a fantastic evening. Welcome to my establishment. I am the sole proprietor of this establishment, and it's happy to see everybody. Please come on in. Smash that thumbs up button as you're coming in. Also, if you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. And have some fun with us while we uh, while we unbox some stuff. So let me see what's going on right now in the chat. So we got Big D, we got WTF, it's Juan, we got Ronaldo, we got DCJRST10. How's it going, buddy? We got Philip A. We got Jeremy Schutz. What's going on? We got Borg uh, Borg Cube One of Two. Uh, we got Josh. How's it going, guys? Everybody, how's it going? Come on in, have some fun. And we're gonna uh, we're gonna enjoy. Oh no problem. It's my pleasure because again, I enjoy doing this for you guys. So you know we uh, you know we try to make everybody happy. We try to appease everybody as best as possible. So you know there's nothing more that we want to do than have fun with you guys, especially on a Saturday night. Um, so yeah. Again, how is everybody's Saturday going? Um, I went out this morning. I filmed a little bit on the hunt. So uh, I actually found some cool stuff today. So I'm excited to show you guys that on Tuesday's hunt video. Um, guys, we're less than 40 subscribers away now from from uh, 30k. So you guys make sure you're uh, you're telling all your friends friends to uh, you know to hit that button and subscribe. My man, prime time reviews. What's happening? So thank you guys as you're coming in, and we thank you. Last night was great, but. You all made the show. Well, we appreciate that, Jeremy. You know, it was it, it was a little it was a little uh, you know the the showcase was a little a little flat last night. You know, and uh, you know we were we were all a little tired and we were expecting better you know um, you know better better statues to be announced and you know it was just meh. It kind of fell flat. It was flat. So let's see what we got going on. We got the uh, WTF one went to my comic book shop and picked up the first three issues of Carnage Black, White, and Blood. Oh, sweet! Not so, Mario, not so super. What is going on, dude? How's it going? I have yet to unbox my Hawkeye Endgame DX. Oh well, you need to get onto that, man, because that thing is awesome. Mine is sitting right there in the back behind Captain America. So I found Flint and Cobra Commander today at Walmart. That is a good score, my man. Awesome for you. So let's see what else we got going on. Let's see. Let's see. So what did you guys think of the, uh, for you guys that joined us last night, what did you guys think of the prime one showcase? Did you think that the statues were like meh? You know, I thought they were a little meh. I thought the, you know, the best one was that diorama at the end that they showed of uh, Kong and Godzilla. So, Hunting for those Star Wars Clone Wars figs. Yeah, man, those things are tough to find, dude. I mean, I got super lucky. Again, it's just all about being at the right place at the right time. And, um, you know, it, it's, uh, you know, it is what it is. Old Nasty, you're saying you're boring. Yeah, I mean, I hear you, dude. I'm going to wake up early tomorrow and hit my target for them Clone Wars figures. Well, hopefully you guys find them. I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's a trek. It's a trek, man. Um, Eric is asking, hey, how do you like Moxley and Kingston as a team? It's interesting. I mean, you know, we'll, we'll see where it goes. Brandon E., hey, what's up, everyone? Just caught, caught up from last night's show. I was crying with that Japanese as we're – yeah, that was pretty funny, man. Yeah, we had we had some fun. We had some fun last night. You know, we were trying to make the best of a situation. So, you know, that was, uh, you know, that was that. So, again, as more people come rolling in, guys, please be sure to smash that thumbs up button. What else we got going on? What else do we got going on? All right. So, guys, I have for you uh, tonight, um, we have the Hawkeye from the um, from the first Avengers movie. Uh, not so Super Mario, no doubt, bro. Digging the new lights. Thank you, man. Much appreciated. Uh, Stuart Fulbrook just picked up the Endgame War Machine this week. 
my first war machine. Do you think it holds up against other war machines? Well, Stuart, it is definitely a great war machine. Um, my favorite war machine out of all of them, though, is the um, the first one from uh, Iron Man 2, which is uh, right here. It's the Mark 1, if you want to call it that. Um, oh, Seth, did you see the tease from Mattel about the next Mo2 6 scale figure? Yes, I did. I did see that. Mondo, they're making, I think it's a, a Hordak is the next is the next one. So, uh, yeah, definitely going to be on that. Yeah, those Mondo 6 scale figures, like, just they just fly off the shelf. They fly. So, all right. So, like I said, we got the Hawkeye from the uh, from the first Avengers movie. So here is the box, and you guys can see Hawkeye right there. Got part of the arm on the side. Got, the, I guess, if you want to call that, like the Hawkeye logo, which is like the crosshair. Um, Hawkeye on the bottom. Hawkeye on the top. And. There we go. So, as you guys can see, there he is right there. And again, this is Hawkeye from the first Avengers movie. So, this will go nicely up here in the corner with my cap and my uh, Mark Seven. So, what I did, what I've, what I did when I rearranged all this stuff, I tried to group them by like movie, so it would make, uh, you know, it would make it easier to display and keep keep the ones grouped together that I wanted to keep grouped together. So, uh, what is your which is your favorite Avenger movie? Uh, that's a good question. Um, Aven as far as Avengers movie goes, um, I would. It's a toss. It's a toss up. I mean, me personally, I think the I, I like the first one the best. That's just me. I mean, I do like Endgame and I do like Infinity War, but if I had to pick one, I like the first Avengers movie because that's you know that's like when we really got introduced to everybody. Um, you know, them working as a team and, you know, the storyline was really cool and it set up the, uh, you know, it set up the trilogy, it set up the, uh, you know, the whole span of the movies, you know, basically. All right. Let's see what we got here. What up, Jedi Shizzle? What's going on, my man? What's up, right guy? How's it going? The Saturday is good, man. No complaints. I found some good stuff today. So, no complaints at all. Uh, no, we did not hit 30K yet. Do you know if Duke and Scarlet are out in stores? I had to pre-order them for Big Bad Toy Store, but I've seen them. Uh, Duke and Scarlet are out. Um, they're from. They were from actually the first. Um, the first. The uh, the first drop. So, um, Borg One Q did a great job of entertaining us last night during a boring pre. -war. Yeah, I, I agree. So thank you, Borg. Uh, Roger, we are uh, less than forty away now from uh, hitting uh, hitting thirty k. So, all right. Major blood hunts are a nightmare, dude. You're you're telling me, man. I mean, listen, I, I can't I can't say that you're telling me because I got really lucky. I just happened to walk into the store by coincidence, and they just they just happen to have them. Um, would you get the Morbius hot toy if they made one? Um, it depends. It depends, you know. So wow, we got a whole bunch of stuff with this. Let me see how this. So does this go in there? All right. So we actually got here. Let me uh, zoom in so I can show you guys. I'm making sure my grandma's a subscriber. Uh, who's your favorite uh, Spider-Man actor? Um, Tom Holland. Tom Holland was a good one.
here we go. So let's do a little zoom in. So here's his um, arrow, arrow quiver, which is kind of cool. And you can see like the points are already in there. And we got a bunch of these arrows loose, untipped, and there's holes right here. And they actually just kind of like slide right into there, which is kind of neat. Well, that'll have to be a, uh, a kind of like an off-camera thing that I do this because <laughs> so we got all the quivers. Uh, we got his uh, bow and arrow right here. Which is kind of cool. This is actually really nice. I think this is one. This one's actually a lot nicer than the one that came. Well, yeah, this one's actually a lot nicer than the one that came from uh, Endgame. So this is pretty cool. Uh, Fog one of the Hulkbuster Iron Man in the background is amazing. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. So here is the bow and arrow. Um, you get a wide range of. Um, uh, tips for the arrows. So there's obviously some exploding ones. There's a grappling claw, um, some other pointed ones, but you get like a whole range of tips for the arrows, which is kind of cool. So we will just put that to the side for right now. So with this one, you get your regular uh, standard uh, crotch, crotch grabber. Um, these are the old, the old styles of way that they that they used to make the um, the basis for these figures. So it just says Hawkeye across it, says the Avengers. So I wish I never found out about Hot Toys. Just dropped one K on them, dude. You and me both, bro. You and me both. So. Here's the base. Again, you guys can see it says Hawkeye. Got the Avengers logo on it. And again, just your regular quintessential crotch grabber. Um, got a, quite a few um, swap out hands. So we got like a, uh, let me see if I could zoom in. There we go. So we got like a finger. We got like a finger pointing hand. And I guess this is the thing, the hand that he uses for uh, shooting the uh, the arrows. So uh, I'm looking into getting into to a hot toy. Any suggestions based on your knowledge of getting them? Uh, Roger, you get whatever you like, man. If you like a character, buy it. That that's you know how I how I usually go buy it. Um, I buy what I like. So there's that. Um, we got another hand, and I guess this one is used for um, pulling um, pulling the uh, the arrow. Or the bow, you guys could see. Pretty nice. And then we got another one right here. This one's actually this wrist is actually like kind of like bent back a little bit. You guys could see. Pretty good detail on the hands. And then we got just another regular, just a regular generic um open uh open like hand which is kind of cool um we got some uh sunglasses pretty cool we got some sunglasses uh, let's see we also got the That's actually kind of cool. So we actually got... So here's the bow. Let me zoom out a little bit. 
So here's the bow. What is that? What's up, sir? Double Chez at work, and I pop this video on on high volume just to hear crotch grabber as the staff walks by. <laughs> nice. So here you guys go. You guys can see here's the, the bow. And the cool thing about this bow is that if you guys remember in the movie, he, like, you know, puts his fist out and the thing, like, pops open, which is really cool. This is actually articulated, which is great. So it actually, you can see it actually opens up. But there's no, uh, there's no string. There's no string on this one, obviously, because of that. But it's pretty cool that they give you uh, they give you that option of it uh, opening and closing like that. So the you know obviously depending on how you want to display him. So you guys can see it's got nice like texture on the grip, which is really cool. Uh, Eric, yes, I have been watching the uh, the documentaries on A and E for the uh, for the WWE. Um, I think my favorite one um, so far out of all the ones I've seen is probably the uh, the Shawn Michaels. Okay. <laughs> Those sunglasses polarized. Nice. The closest I come to Hot Toys is my Mezco Wolverine Cyclops and 12-inch Marvel Legends figures. I never remember Hawkeye with the with the shades on in the movie, but it always yeah I know that's I kind of I kind of agree with you, Josh, on that. My man, Figure Kong, what's happening, brother? What is going on? Just opening up some hot toys. East NY's finest, my chief, my man, Chief Seth, my man, you're one of the reasons why I got back into hot toys so quickly. And you tell the thing I said, leave you alone, brother. <laughs> well, thanks, man. I appreciate that, dude. Listen, man, it's all about fun, man. It's all about fun collecting what you like, you know, at the end of the day, you know, at the end of the day with this stuff. So. So this obviously this is a much older, older hot toy, um, because usually now most of the uh, most of the regular hot toys they come with like those silicone um, joints, so you don't see like the, you know, the hinges and everything for the elbows. Uh, just got back into statues recently, but still sticking to my roots with Star Wars hot toys. It keeps getting more expensive, but fun. It is Michael. It is Michael. I, I hear you, man. I really do. The hobby. The hobby is getting a little bit more expensive than than normal. Here we go. Always got to make sure you get all this plastic. The Floosh 420. What's up, bro? What's going on? Thank you for joining us. So here is a close-up look of the figure. Hold on one second. Let me just get him right. There we go. So I actually like the suit. Um, I like the articulation on this. It's not as restricting. And again, this is a much older um, hot toy. So you guys can see there's the portrait. The portrait looks really, really good on this. I like the suit. Um, over here on the top, they got the uh, the shield, the shield logo, which is really cool. And again, that portrait, that portrait's pretty good. You know, they've come a long way in their portraits, but yeah, this is this is pretty this is pretty good for a uh, for a Jeremy Renner. You guys can see. 
And then, of course, there's the suit. And, of course, the suit matches, and it's got a little bit of uh, plastic and leather leather to it. It is great likeness for an older figure. There's, there's, no, there's, no, there's no question. There is no question. So, dude, you got to see what's going on with the three zero Power Rangers and the G.I. Joe Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. I've seen the Power Rangers, which are pretty cool. Um, I got to check out the G.I. Joe. Um, Carlo, uh, no, this is just a special, just a special night now. It's not every Saturday night. It's just a, just a special one I decided to do. So, you know, I was sitting home hanging out and I was like, you know what? Let me go live. Let me unbox some stuff. Let me show, uh, let me show you guys, say, say what's up with you guys chat for a little bit. So I am three a, hmm. so here's the suit. Here's the pants again. So again, this is what I was talking about. Like you could see, like, so in a lot of the newer ones, it's all a silicone arm. So you don't even see the joints anymore. So I like that Hawkeye, but I love the look on the Age of Ultron. Yeah, that's another one I got to get, uh, the Floosh 420. I started collecting Hot Toys, but I think they are too expensive for my teenage wallet. Yeah, man, I mean, they're they're cool, dude, you know, and, and it is definitely for more of a um, – I, I would say it's more of like an upscale – I wouldn't say like an upscale collector because, you know, everybody – you know, it, it just depends if you can afford it or not, or if it's in if it's in your budget. I mean, me personally, I definitely I definitely like the Hot Toys um, as far as figure goes. Um, I really like it. I think it's a great a great price. The figures are really well done. Um, you know, you could pose them, you could articulate them, you could put them in some cool some cool poses and stuff. So, just give you guys a back look at everything. There's the boots. So. You know, for being you know for being a couple of years old, this is actually pretty pretty well made. So, even for back even for back then, so pretty cool. And again, like I said, like the articulation on this is pretty good. They use, you know, the material, some of the material they use now is a little, is a little eh sometimes, but what's up, Bloodsport One? How's it going? Eric, which is your favorite Iron Man movie? I like one in three the best. Um, I'm probably going to have to go with Iron Man 2. I liked, I, I liked Iron Man 2 a lot. Um, I thought I was safe from buying anything in this Hot Toys dry spell, but ended up buying two Invincible Omnibuses today. Dude, Invincible is a great show, man. I got to read the comics, though. I I, I got to read the comics. Do you have the Endgame Hawkeye? Yes, I do have the Endgame Hawkeye. Oh, and there's a drag race happening outside my house. So uh, the Endgame Hawkeye is actually behind the, uh, the Captain America back here. The only Hawkeye I don't have is the Hawkeye from uh, Age of Ultron. So I'll probably have to wind up scouring and trying to find that at some point. So, but this is this is really cool. I like this Hawkeye a lot. It's got some neat stuff. Um, I'll have to, uh, you know, um, look up look up poses for it and stuff like that. But guys, if you don't follow me already, uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram because you know usually after the lounge ends, um, I usually take um, the figures and put them into some poses and stuff, and I take pictures and post them. So you know, just make sure um, you follow me on Instagram. The link is in the description below for that. What's up, my man? G Force, what's it's going? What's going on? Uh, Cellcom, which Avengers are you still missing? Um, I'm from the first movie, because this is from the first Avengers movie. I have from the first Avengers movie. I have Hawkeye. Um, I have the Mark Seven. I have Captain America, and I have Hulk. Um, I need Black Widow, Nick Fury, um, and Loki, I believe, and I think that's it. Um, when are you doing the room tour? Soon, Antonio. Um, I just got done doing the lights on the cabinet. I'm cleaning up some other stuff and, uh, soon. So hopefully within the next couple of weeks, uh, blood sport. Yes, we did see the prime one showcase. We actually live streamed it last night on the channel. Um, a little flat in my opinion, a little flat. Um, the coolest thing that they showed off was the, um, was the uh, the Kong the Kong and uh, Godzilla diorama at the end with the city and the streets and all that stuff? That stuff was pretty cool. So I was definitely digging that. Oh, let's see. Is 
if I come across any of those, I'd let you know as far as adventures. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Uh, man, you have to see the Godzilla versus Kong City version incredibly detailed. Yep. Uh, yeah, Roger, the Predator was pretty good. Oh, yeah, and the Coulson, too. Yeah, the the, the agent the agent Coulson. Uh, thank you, Hayabusa. Um, he's saying the Hot Toys Coulson is also underrated. It is. Um, they're, they're all great portraits. I mean, again, Hot Toys always does a great job with their portraits. So it's always great to see, um, you know, the product, obviously, when we get it. So... It's uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, Carlo is saying the guy who presented the Prime One anime stuff looked like Elf from Death Note. <laughs> yeah, actually, you know what? You're you're probably right, Carlo. He did. I think he did. You you're probably that 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 that's a that's an astute observation. That's a that's a that's a good one, Carlo. I like that. All right. So since I'm done with the Hawkeye, I kind of figured I was gonna get done with this kind of fast. Um, I have another, um, I have another, um, figure I want to one box. So let me, uh, let me get that real fast. Are you, uh, yes, old nasty. My new, my lights are connected. So yeah, see, Alexa, turn off hot toys. Okay. There you go. Alexa, turn on hot toys. Okay. By the way, I can notify you when there's a severe weather alert for you area. Yeah, I'm good. I'm, 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 I'm good. No, thank you. So. So here's another one I'm gonna I'm gonna unbox for you guys. The show just went into overtime. <laughs> so, so I picked this one up in a video a couple weeks ago. Um, I know I showed it to you guys. It's the uh, the sideshow uh, Magneto, which is kind of cool. So I got this one. Uh, I got this one for you, Dope Stark Enterprise. Can you give us the storage unit tour as well, <laughs> dude? Cellcom, I can't even get into my storage unit right now, dude. It is crazy. I know, Michael. I wish. I wish she sounded like Jarvis, dude. That would be awesome. Uh, Balsock, yes, it did say severe weather. You know, we do live in Flo we do live in Florida, so there is uh, hurricanes and uh, bad bad rainstorms. So yeah, that that and and bad thunderstorms too. So so here is the sideshow Magneto. Um, this one is actually really cool. Again, I picked this up a couple weeks ago um, from a buddy of mine who was selling it. Um, I like this a lot because it's pretty cool because you can see it says Magneto right there. It's got like the Jim Lee, the Jim Lee art on the sides, which is really cool. And I like the, uh, you know, they got an X-Men logo on that side and the, the X-Men. And these are all from that X-Men one, the covers that Jim Lee did, which are really cool. So pull this one out it's been raining all week where I live feels like living in Florida yeah sorry ball sock that kind of sucks, man. Yeah, the rain, the rain, the rain kind of ruins it for everybody. You can make her voice change to Samuel L. Jackson if you want. Oh my God, that would be awesome. I should do that. Is that a re is that a real thing? Uh. Nico, did you get shipping confirmation on your Endgame gift? I, yes, uh, Nico, I did. They actually sent me an email saying, oh, your payment's finally getting ready to charge and it'll be shipping within the next couple of weeks. And then two days later, I got another email saying, oh, um, your charge will be charged in, uh, your card will be charged in June now. So the, again, it got pushed back now another month. So uh, one of my local shops has the Iron Studio quarter scale Iron Spider. I'm thinking about picking, dude, 
That quarter scale Iron Spider is sick. I've seen that one in person. Josh, I'm hoping to make it to Ikea sometime soon to get some detoffs. The closet, one of the closest one is four hours away. Plus, you just made... <laughs> Sorry, Josh. Didn't mean to do that. So here is the base. Um, nothing special. The base is kind of weird. So, I mean, it just kind of has like a funky pattern on it. I don't know. I don't think it's anything special, to be honest with you. So, and then um, their, their grabber is actually interesting because it gives you... Um, it gives you actually two different things. So you can do one that's like that it grabs from like the uh, the waist and then it actually has the crotch grabbing. So I guess if you want it to float. Interesting. So yeah. The cool thing is is that we get um we get a helmet. And let me zoom in. Let me zoom in so you guys can see the helmet. What's up Jesse? How's it going? You guys can see there is the uh, there's the helmet. It's got a really nice metallic uh, paint on it. So pretty cool. You want to jump in, Rocco? I'll send you the link. So here's so here's that. You guys can see the other cool thing that this comes with, and I think this is the um, oh, Hun's busy. All right, well here, hold on, I'll send you the link right now. Oh, uh, let's see. Do do do. All right, Pop the clipboard. Instagram. One second, guys, just bear with me. And paste and send. There you go. Just sent you the link, Rocco. Thanks for the Jurassic Park stops on your hunt. Oh, no problem, man. Jesse, no problem at all. So one cool thing about this figure, which is the, um, I think this is an exclusive. It actually comes with um, Cerebro, which is, uh, which is kind of cool. So let me show you guys that. And if you guys don't know what um, Cerebro is, that's the uh, device uh, Professor X uses to uh, search for other mutants and track track other mutants and stuff. So this helmet is really cool. There is a lot of detail on this. Uh, let me zoom in so I can show you guys. Uh, there you go. You guys can see cool too because it has like the wiring like it's been uh like it's been pulled out which is kind of cool you guys can see um chris i buy my hot toys from all over the place dude um i buy my hot toys from uh you know from friends um i buy them off of facebook um i buy them off of macari um i buy them locally in some of the shops so i buy them from sideshow um, I buy it from Comic Concepts. So, uh, Michi Marco, what's popping? What's up, dude? What's going on? So, yeah, that is freaking, this helmet is freaking badass. It's making me think about starting the X-Men 90s show tonight. I'm 19 and never watched it at all, but I fear my wallet will slap me. 
Can he wear it instead of his helmet? Um, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. We can always find out. So... And then it comes with this cool attachment, which um, has a plug on it. And you can actually um, put a helmet on here. And it looks like it's holding the helmet with like a, uh, like a like the magnetic effect. So if you guys can see, there's the hand. And again, the helmet plugs in right here onto the top, which is kind of cool. Yeah, see, so it goes, the helmet plugs in right like that, so it can give it like the effect, like he's magnetizing the helmet. It's pretty cool. Oh, hold on a second. We got a special guest coming in. We got a special guest. Yo. Hey, buddy. Hold on. Oh, my camera's not. How do I do that? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I got to get my headphones. Okay. Hold on. One second. Can you hear me? Got to get my headphones. Chat. Can the chat hear me? Can Can the chat hear me? How do I do this now? I came in here. I just ruined the whole show. Sorry, guys. Seth, you can hear me? Oh, he's plugging his stuff in. All right, guys. Everybody smash that like button. There we What's go. What's up, buddy? No video? How you doing? I, hold on. I don't even know. It's got my old icon, too. Hold on. Let me see. Oh, there we go. Much better. All right. Can you see? Oh, good. Perfect. There we go. What's up, man? How you doing, bro? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Just on, uh, you know, doing a little uh, little Saturday night uh, thing, unboxing uh, unboxing some figures just to, you know, have a little fun with some people. Yeah, so, bro, that background looks nice. I like the Hot Toys Lounge. Like, I, it looks good. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I, I, I am the most professional YouTuber. Yeah, so. we know that, dude. Dude, <laughs> speaking of professional, I, uh, we did ToyCon today, right? We went to ToyCon today in Jersey. Oh, in Jersey. Dude, it was, it was just as big and busy as New York Comic Con. I swear to God. Well, yeah. Well, people want to get out of the house. Lines were down the block. Insane. I ran into a bunch of YouTubers. I ran oh, into awesome. Nerdzoic. I, oh, I, cool. He is a giant. I thought I was tall. This yeah. dude looked like how I, I – he actually probably looks like how what, – I assume you're a big dude. Like Are you big, tall? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm 5'11". Uh, we might be the same size then. No, yeah, I'm, dude, I'm this guy. Is like, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not as tall as. I'm not as tall. I actually live in the land of the giants. To be honest with you, for real. So. You always. You. 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 You just feel like a, you're a big dude. Not and not. I don't mean in weight size. Oh I mean no, no, like, I know. Yeah, your stature. You're very large in I, stature. I gotta tell you though, man, it's been a rough week, dude. Because I've been. I started dieting this week. Good. For, and, good and, for you, and, dude. And I'm. I'm freaking miserable, dude. I want a cheeseburger so bad. Yeah, but you know, it's like all it's like, what's for breakfast? Egg whites and apples. Okay, uh, what's, <laughs> egg whites what's, and apples. A, a, egg whites and apples. Okay, at ten o'clock, I'm having like a protein shake or a protein bar. Then at like eleven thirty, twelve o'clock, I have a sa I have a salad with so, with some protein. Okay, well, on, dude, I actually used to be a, uh, I was certified becoming a personal trainer, and with with the my specialty was actually the diet and planning. So oh, if okay. you ever do need tips, I'm here, dude. You could reach out to me anytime oh, I can help you. Rocco, Rocco's weight loss. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't – listen, I know, like, because Hun and I are watching right now. Yeah. It doesn't have to be miserable. Like, you could you could lose weight, and it could be not as bad as it should. You know what I mean? So yeah. I'm here for you, buddy. But, but yeah, here. man, so it's like a protein and that, and then, you know, and then – um Jesus, what else? What else? And then you know, I come home, and then I have like another protein shake or a protein bar, and then I have, you know, and then I have you're dinner. Gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna be like Arnold, dude. Yeah, and you're, then I have dinner. Gonna... I'm not trying to bulk. I'm not trying to. Well, I'm not really lifting lifting weight right now. Hmm. I'm doing more cardio than 
They have all those toy hunts, dude. Then anything, that's not, not even that, dude. I'm doing two a days at the, I'm doing two a days at the gym. Yeah, that, so, that's what I'm, dude. That is what I'm. So talking it's like about. It, it's like so it's like yeah, man. It's just I I need I need to. It's mm. something that you know. Listen, I'm not afraid to tell people how fat I am because I'm comfortable in my own skin. I stepped on the scale at the start of this thing, and I was three thirty. I was three thirteen. I was gonna do a joke there. I was gonna. Do, you no, said no, you no, stepped on the scale. I was like, it, it, the it scale broke. said one yeah. at a time, please. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, you know, so yeah, listen, I'm, I'm comfortable in my own skin. I am well, I'm you a, big, look good, I'm a big, listen. I'm a big dude. So yeah. it, it's, you know, it's no question. So I need to get, I personally want to get down to around the, uh, the pack. two, the 200. No, I no, no. I want to get about, I, to, I want to get down to about like 195, mm -hmm. 200, which is what I used to walk around um, when I was like 18, but I was like a buff, you know, I, I was buff because I used to wrestle back in high school. So mm -hmm. I was a big, I was a big dude. Um, what do we got? We go, ho, ho, the Italian, LOL. I was, I was, uh, I was there. I didn't see you, brother. Someone was uh, at the I toy show and didn't see you. So this is, uh, it's, I, I got the, I filmed. So there will be a film. There will be a, a toy hunt next week. Sure. Uh, what we did was wait on the mythic legions line for Ooh. two hours. Dude. Oh, so two are, you, hours. are you on the mythic legions now? No, I've always been, I've been oh, since okay. the beginning. Uh, okay. all, all my old friends use, cause if you live in Jersey, this is the thing that people don't understand. If you live in Jersey, NECA and Mythic Legions are at every con that is local, right? Really? So you can you can get the cheap like I never pay full price for NECA. I find them all really cheap. And so that's why when I go into the store all the time, people are saying, uh diets are dude, diets, diets are hard and pizza yeah. tastes so good. Yeah, man. I hear you. Well, Listen, that's I did why you cut gotta out change the soda. your you gotta change your it, it's not a diet, it's a way of life change. That's what you gotta do. Yeah. Yeah. I like, good I like for real. I like this. WTF one. He goes, Seth, you're not fat, you sexy. Well, thank you. You're, I appreciate you're that. You're just big bone, dude. You're just yeah, big I, I, I'm big bone. So, but, but, but yeah, I cut out all the, I cut out all the soda and everything, dude. I haven't had soda like all week. Soda is it. You, yeah. you could, you could drop so much just from cutting out the I have, liquid calories. It's I have, called. I, I've lost, I've lost about almost seven pounds this week mm. so far. So I'm, I'm on the, I'm on the, I'm on the road to redemption, man. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, the whole, the whole gimmick's going to change when I lose all the weight. Cause then I'm just going to be like the, the buffest, toy. The, I'm going to yeah. be the buffest toy hunter. So. I'm down with that. I, I listen. Two, I'm going to be watching the the new the new gimmicks. Who's who's gonna who's got two uh, two guns and ready to go toy hunting? This guy, <laughs> I'm dude. I'm telling you, I want to see you like Arnold status. Just beef, I have pictures. beef I have cake, pictures. beef cake toy hunter. That's going to be your new thing. You're going to be like, it's Seth, the beef cake toy hunter. And you, when you lift, when you're in the store and you you grab the stuff from the shelves, you flex. You're like, oh my god, oh. I can't wait, dude. But uh, yeah, it's 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 gonna ha it's gonna ha it's gonna happen, man. So, did you find anything good at the the toy show? Yeah, so you want to? I don't want. Well, I don't want to spoil. I don't want to spoil. I don't, your I don't do that stuff. I got. I will say, I'm on a Resident Evil kick. I don't know if you know that. Oh no, I'm I know a, that. No, because okay. we were talking about it the the last time I was on your. Yeah. Stream. Oh yeah, I got the. So, dude. Okay, so I'm collecting these Resident Evil figures and. There was this Chris Redfield figure. Right when I walked in, yeah. the guy was asking a hundred bucks for it, which was is expensive, but it's also a good price. Yeah, I got that figure for seventy five dollars, and it's the variant. It sells for five hundred dollars. So no that's shit. one thing I got today. Yeah, and that's I'm torn, explore, man. I'm torn between selling it or keeping it because I do like it, but I am not a box collector. And then I could also use it and sell it and buy more figures. Yeah. Of Resident Evil. So there, go, there, goes, there goes Mr. 22. 90 bucks. I could buy a mule. 90 bucks. I could buy a mule. I could buy a mule. Oh, my which, gosh. Speaking of, speaking of which, I have to go onto your uh, your Teespring site and buy that shirt. So Yeah? I want Dude. that I want that shirt. I got to go on there it and buy it. It would be an honor. That would be an <laughs> honor seeing you toy hunt with that. Oh, I would honor. totally rock the shit out of it. You know that. Mm. But uh, so back to what we were talking about. Um, I'm on. I, I I was unboxing Hawkeye. I finished mm. Hawkeye, so now I'm unboxing Magneto. But here's this really um, cool portrait that they yeah, give I'm you. Yeah, I'm here it's for Magneto, man. It's an Oof. unmasked. It's an unmasked uh, portrait, which is really clean. I like that. Yeah. So, and I think this is the way I'm going to actually um, display him is with the unmasked mm. portrait, and then it comes with an effect um, that you could put his the helmet in the hand and make the helmet float. 
Yes, yes, it's like the Jim Lee. Uh, yeah, that art, yeah, that's right? what Where this is. This the... is a, yeah, this is based off the Jim, mm. the Jim Lee, which is cool. And this the is only side... X Men out there. The only yes, X Men. Yes, exactly. I I totally agree. Mm -hmm. So we got an unmasked portrait, and then obviously, let me zoom out. Extreme you, zoom out. You can make me little. You could do that. The little screen. Oh no, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, I'm good. Yeah, that, we, that Magneto is awesome, dude. You know, yeah. you know, I'm not really I don't mess with Marvel too much, but that is an awesome figure. Yeah. That's why and I was like, you know what? Let me come in here. I want to see this up close. Yeah, so the joints are a little the joints are a little tight on this one. But hmm. uh East New York's finest says the head sculpt looks like an older version of Brandon Lee. I, I mess with that. <laughs> Maybe, but an e a Jewish brand, a, <laughs> a Jewish, Jewish Asian brand. white person. I nice. know, that's that's a big mix right there. So here is the actual. Let me zoom in again. I'll show you guys. Mm. So here is the oh, Magneto dude. there. So oh, dude, the eyes the eyes are all whited out, which is kind of cool and everything. And I love the metallic purple paint and the red the candy apple <laughs> red that they used on this, which is really nice. Um, the material that they used is uh, mixed media. The cape actually has wire in it, so you can oh. actually pose pose the cape, which is really, really cool. Um, the only thing I wish is that the torso was a little yeah. thicker so it could fill out the suit. Yeah, he's pretty uh, – yeah. the Jim Lee were all yeah. beefy Yeah, the Jim Lee are all beefy, yeah. buffy dudes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, like, I wish this was built – he was buffed up a little bit more. Um, mm -hmm. and you guys could see, like, the belt, the belt and everything and the cape. And You're right. His, now that you mentioned booties. that, dude, there his legs are a good size. He's got like the you know superhero meaty legs. But then you're right. Now, now it's all I see. His chest yeah. should be well. You could probably put some padding under there. Yeah, but I don't like you know the, that's the whole thing. I don't like you don't really like messing. altering. Yeah, yeah, I don't like altering this stuff because you know knowing my yeah. luck, I'll, I'll break it and then mm. I'll never be able to repair it. And and that's the last the last thing. Up oh, extreme close up on the beard. <laughs> open your just put it in your mouth. Uh -huh. Just put the camera in your mouth. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I like, dude. That's so clear. That camera. You're ridiculous. Well, it's a, it's a wet. It's actually a, um, a camcorder mm. that you can. It's a 4K camcorder that you can actually use. You use to record, as one. You, yeah. Use to record, or you can use it as a web, uh, a webcam, and it's in 4K. It's in 4K. So um, amazing. You know, amazing. Listen, listen. You, you gotta. You, you want to put out quality content. You gotta shell out some, some bucks. You know, a hundred percent. So yeah, I'm gonna have to mess with this. The joints on this are very, very stiff. I hear ooh, ooh, don't don't do it, don't yeah. do it, don't do it, don't yes. do it. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to see like what blow dryer you know, or something. Yeah, yeah, what people even, are suggesting. Dude, even just keep it in the backyard, like put it outside just yeah, in, the in, sun, the, in the sun and just, just let for the heat a little while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just let the dirt shower over just, you. <laughs> just, why don't you just chuck it into the woods and, and uh battle damage magneto? Yeah. Yeah, uh, what kind of camera am I using? So the camera that I'm using for this, it's a so it's a Sony FDR AX53. Is what I'm using. The camera's like a thousand dollar camera. I'm not tooting my horn because I spend a thousand dollars, but you know. But uh, yeah, you know. Again, I'm all about putting out quality content. I need the best stuff. Well, it's an investment. So, yeah, it's exactly. an investment. It's a business investment, and it's also it shows that you care about the people watching your. Oh, I do. I yeah. do. I do. I care about everybody care about everybody you're such a good person dude thanks man yeah the prime one yeah jacob the prime one uh the prime one uh showcase last night fell flat you know it would kind of was like meh so i don't know you know about pro, uh statues right prime one prime one stu studios rocco no i okay. the statues so they, are where i draw the line okay. I'm, I'm, so they yeah. had yeah so they had uh, they had a they're they're based in japan but they mm -hmm. have they had their big thing is that they have the uh, the dc license Okay. So, and they put out the statues that they put out are third are third scale statues. So they're like freaking oh, massive. I've, I've seen the Lobo one. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So they did a they did a showcase last night where they were announcing like new stuff and and they had this the 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 best piece that they showed the whole night in my opinion was this. It was a Godzilla versus Kong diorama huh. and it, it was in a city. It was in the cityscape and the city mm -hmm. lit up and everything. Huh. And so did Godzilla. His back lit up and everything. It was it was pretty cool. They are um, they are they are doing Kong and Godzilla right. Like if yeah. you're a fan of Kong or Godzilla right now, is your time to shine. Seriously, yeah. no, for real. Everyone is doing so much merch for them. It's it's what a time, man. It really is. What'd you think of the new MCU figures, the Legends? 
So um the the super villain way the super villain wave I actually saw in person mm. um on my let the hunt video that I actually dropped uh, yesterday. Um I I saw I it was funny because I found those um those black series, those black series figures. The clones. Yeah, the clone, the clone figures. I found the. So I walked into a Target and I'm rounding the corner to go to the figure section, and I see the big red cart, and ah. one of the employees is actually handing the guy, one of the customers, the um the Star Wars figures. Oh, so did I you go punch him. Yeah, no, no, no. So oh, I went okay. running. I, why would I punch him? I don't know. So he go. He's I on went your turf. No, but he was like, oh, I just want one of each. So I knew he was okay. a legit. He was a legit guy yeah. at that point. You know, if you get people that are being <laughs> greedy, then then you know that that's another thing. So yeah. I walked up. The ladies, I was, um, the ladies, like, "Oh, can I help you?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'll take one of each too." And then I saw the Marvel Legends box sitting on the cart. Oh, and you were like, "Oh, I passed that and over." I, right I'm here. like, "I'm like, oh, I'm like, you got to be kidding me!" I'm like, "What are the odds of this?" So she cuts open the box, and then um, I'm looking at it, and she pulls out the super villain wave, and I'm like, "Oh, because I thought it was the the Falcon and Winter Soldier wave." Mm. So I'm like, oh man, I'm like, this is even a bigger score than the Falcon and Winter Soldier way. Uh, that's you know, the one with the, that's the one with the uh, red hood and stuff in it, right? Yeah, yeah, with and, the hood, uh, with, uh, with, the, with the with the hood guy, red skull. And, and the red skull, the white Doctor mm. Doom, uh, Lady Deathstrike. Yeah, I saw Arcade, I saw that wave too. Yeah, yeah. So did I they guess, let you buy it? No, because it's street dated. Mm. Mm. So yeah. the lady, so the lady was like. Um, the lady was like, oh, she's like, well, I have to check if the street dated. I don't want to get in trouble. And I'm like, you know what? I'm like, it's okay. I'd rather you be, you know, I don't, you know, you were nice enough to help me and open that up. So the least I can do is make sure you don't lose your job. So yeah. she checked, she scanned it and she's like, yeah, I'm sorry. June 1st. She's like, I'll have to put him in the back. And I'm like, I, okay. You know what I would have did? I would have called corporate, got her fired and ruined her life. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking, dude. Um, you know what? I, I met a guy today at Target because you were you were saying you made me think of the street dated, and I know a lot of people hide the street dated stuff. Yeah. So this dude, I, I met a dude today uh, that watches the channel. He goes, "Bro, I know the Target you go to, and I hide stuff so you can find it." And oh he's my like, god! Um, I watch and I wait for you to find things, and I was like, "That's that's like interesting. <laughs> that's pretty." Like I don't know if like that was really cool or it's like a like it's a little crazy. So well, do you, I don't think it's crazy. I think he's 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 no no he he's totally you. dude. You know what happened? So uh, mm. right uh, right after the Cara Dune stuff happened and everyone started losing their mind about Cara Dune. Yeah. Um, he knew that I liked Cara Dune. He hid the Cara Dune that I find on my channel. He fessed up. He said, "Dude, I know where you look in your videos all the time. I put that Cara Dune there." And I was like, dude, <laughs> wow. I was like, yo, you're here's on a new level, dude. It was, it was wild, dude. Today That's was a lot funny. of fun. I wish you were there. Did you, uh, but there, there were a lot of, a lot of good, ven a lot of good vendors. A lot you know, of good stuff, vendors. Stuff like um, I met a ton of people who watched the channel. It really surprised me. Like all I saw, world, I saw all on uh, life, it was wild. I saw on your Insta, on your Instagram, it looked like this little kid was like so excited to meet you. Dude, yeah, he posted. he's like a TikToker. This yeah. guy. Oh, he really? Was, yeah, he was like, bro, I'm, I, you know, he's like, I got thirty k on TikTok or something like that. I was like, okay. He was flexing. I was like, all oh, right. Okay. Well, I was like, just, you, you, know, you do you, dude. Listen, you step to Rocco the Great, man. You got to have them credentials. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> that, no, that's what he came to me like. I was like, dude, I I would think you're cool if you said you, you had ten. You know what I yeah. mean? But he was flexing on me. I like that. What is this? What is he saying? Triple Triple J, mm. Rocco Rocco, don't speak over people. Let's have one at a time. Oh, I don't know. He's never been to my stream. I can't yeah. help it. I got like an undiagnosed uh, disorder. So That's sorry okay. about that. Listen, I don't even think that. I think it's a New Yorker thing. Mm. Dude, speaking of New speaking of New York, here is a weird. It, this is non non toy related. This mm. is just a uh, just a funny. Oh, now story. we're in my territory. Yeah. Let's go. This is just a funny story. So. My niece, my my niece had my niece had her birthday party today. She turned three, so um, the my um my sister my sister in law, um, her family owns a uh, gymnastics gym. Mm. So um, her start, and a bunch of started doing gymnastics. Yeah. No, 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 so, no, 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 so, okay. no, so, so her and a bunch of kids go to go to this gymnastics thing during the week for classes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So turns out that a girl. That I used to go to elementary school with back in New York when I lived in New York, actually moved down here, 
has kids and their her daughter is friends with um their daughter is friends with my niece. So she actually showed up at this birthday party today, and I haven't seen this girl since fifth grade. Uh oh. A and it was just one of those like small world, you know, coincidence. Uh, okay. Co co was coincidence the wife things. okay with it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we were me, yeah, me and her, yeah, me and her were just sitting there. We were just chatting it up, catching, mm. you know, catching up and everything. And dude, it was just, ah, it's just so weird. It's such a small, small world that she knows my sister in law and my brother. That you is know, weird. And, and then you know, and then obviously she's like, wait a minute. She's like, is your last name such and such? And my brother was like, yeah. She's like, do you have an older brother named Seth? And he's like, yeah, I do. And she's like, oh my god, we went to that, school together. And I'm like, that dude, is I'm so like, weird. You know what though? The migration from New York to Florida is oh, very is, real. Oh, oh, the so, rate the rate is high. Yeah, well, yeah, you know, so, because the cost of living in New York is so freaking expensive. Tell me about it, dude. I'm dying. I'm yeah. dying over here, man. It's all right though. Hun doesn't want to move, so um, we're stuck here. I just gotta deal with it. Hun doesn't want to move. Um yeah. never never forget Seth signed a shipment for bits and buttons. I did. I did now, so, what's that mean? No, so um last so last week um it was Saturday night and I was sitting at home I was just sitting on my couch relaxing and the uh, owner of Bits and Buttons called me because we're me and him are good friends mm -hmm. and he goes hey Seth he goes I got an odd request he's like are you gonna come by the store tomorrow I said yeah sure I need a I need a film I'll come by um he goes somebody in California online just bought two figures from me he goes he had <sighs> one request though and I'm like what's that that you could come in and autograph the figures for him and I'm like and I'm like what. He goes, yeah. He goes, he wants your autograph on the figures, and I'm like, well, I mean, you put that place on the map, dude. And I'm like, and I'm like, okay. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, sure. I'm like, that that that's cool. So I went in there and I autographed it. And it's funny too because it's like you're sitting there when the box is front of you and you got the pen in your hand and you're like, okay, like what do I write on this? So I just wrote, I just wrote his name was Miguel. So I was like, to Miguel, keep popping. Uh, Seth, you know, what's pop, yeah, aka what's popping, you know. Dude, so he I love like, it. Dude. I hope you, know, you got a commission on that. No, I don't. That store better take care of you. They do. They do. Okay, they, they, good. Okay. That's that that is that is probably my my favorite my favorite store to uh to go to. You know, the the they got great great stuff. You know, it's I showed, you know, eventually hopefully when you get down here I could take you. Mm. You know, I could I could take we're, you there because we're, we're, that yeah, store is loaded with there. loaded with wrestling figures for you. Mm -hmm. so, oh, I see in your videos yeah. I get jealous all the time, dude. So. We, we got some people in the chat thinking you're you're talking smack about New York. We're both New Yorkers. We're both New Yorkers. I'm from yeah. New York. Yeah, we're, that's what that's what bonded us in the yeah. beginning. We're both from New York. That's why we even like started talking and stuff. Yeah. So there's definitely no New York hate. And if we do talk smack on it, it's because we're from New York. We're allowed to listen. I've earned that right. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Uh, what's going on, Thor twenty nine forty one? Bloodsport one is saying MCE big timer. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, we're not. We're not. I'm not big timer. I'm just. A, I'm just a he, small, he, small guy in a big pond. He spelt it like uh, the rap, though. Big timers. You know. Remember? Oh, big timer. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? We New York. We New York tough baby. Damn right, Thor. Yeah. Yeah. Daft I'm coming uh, for you, sucker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Kogan, I'm coming for you. <laughs> yeah. Daft, uh, Daft Punk five oh five oh five oh nine is saying extreme close up. Extreme close up. So yeah, but. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, uh, it's been a, it was a fun, fun filled day. I uh, went into a target today and I had some success on the hunt. So, oh, nice. um, you know, dude, the one thing I cannot find that keeps eluding me are those new AEW figures. Me neither. I haven't seen AEW for so oh, everyone. Okay. Everyone at the con today had AEW figures and people had them for pretty cheap too. I was surprised. I really, what, was. Did, what did they, which, which series did they have? Because I've seen I've seen series one in store. I've mm. seen series uh, I've seen series three. I've never seen series two, mm -hmm. and and I've got Santana and Ortiz from series four. But that's only because a buddy of mine helped me help mm. me out and sent sent them to me. Um. Oh, hey, uh, got a new member, Mister Twenty Two. Welcome to the Marvelous Knights group. Thank you so much for joining. Now for a, now for, since you paid that dollar ninety nine a month, you are going to get all kinds of cool stuff. And and sexy pictures of Seth to the DMs. Uh, a, a fan only only fans. Only yeah, fans. Mm. only fans. We're in good company on there. So, uh, what about New Japan? New Japan figures. I haven't seen any New Japan figures. They're on ringside. They're pretty. They they don't look like the the prototypes. So people were really people got like shocked. But then they also came with a lot of accessories. So people turned around about them. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh man. 
Yeah, oh, yeah. See, East New York's finest. There was some nice stuff, but most vendors were out of their minds. Well, I mean, I think it was expensive to get a table, so you got to get your table back. I just see. Oh, listen, they got to. Like, yeah, they got to raise yeah. the prices because they got to cover their nut. So it's, yeah, I don't mind know. that stuff. I and you know what? When you buy stuff from the toy cons, you're giving money to people. You know what I mean? Like I like that. Yeah. Better than yep. Target. Well, you don't know if you're giving money to, to, to people or you're giving money to resellers or you're giving That's money all right. to scalpers. People got to eat. It's better than Target. Yeah. Yeah. So. Thor 21, say Thor 2941 saying Hulk smash that like button, folks. Thank you, sir. Dude, we're literally, we're literally 40, scriber, 40 subscribers away from hitting 30,000 subs. So it's Dude. like... That's it, bro. That's it. Oh, congratulations! It's buddy. been it's been a straight it's been a stretch, man. It's been when we hit when we hit twenty five k back in January. Mm -hmm. It's been a stretch to get that that last five thousand, dude. And it's like I wanted to be I wanted to be a little further than we're at now. But you know, with that being said, dude, I'm seriously think, thinking about kicking it back into overdrive and just dropping content left and right. That's so. that's the only way. You have to post every single day. You well, got well, we you do, you do though. You yeah, do, we do yeah, post maybe, every day. Maybe three times a day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just nonstop posting. Yeah, right. Um, Cellcom is saying, Rocco, are you getting the SH figure arts uh, Justin uh, Justin Liger figure? What does that mean? It's a wrestler. That? Oh, is that a figure? Wait, figure arts figure made arts. a wrestler? Yeah, they made a Justin Light uh, Justin Linger. Justin. If Linger. I don't even know, I yeah, no, I. I don't know who that guy is, but if yeah, figure arts. I I've been on you know I've been buying the Dragon Ball Z figure arts. Dragon so. Balls. I know your favorite. <laughs> Dragon Balls. Uh, what is it? Uh, Borg uh, Cube One of Two. Have you ever been to the Fan Expo in Toronto? I can honestly say that I have not. You ever been to Canada? Uh no. Yeah, I don't really play. I, like I like America. Like honestly, uh, I went nothing. to London and Italy. Like I'm I I'm okay here. Nothing and nothing again. Nothing against Canada. I just don't like the fact that they put mayonnaise on everything. Can we trash? It? Let's trash Canada. Real no, I don't want to trash. No. I don't want to trash Canada. We can trash Canada on your channel if you want. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say on my channel we can trash Canada. Oh man, I'm yeah, trying to gain. I'm trying to gain subs, not lose them. Yeah, my <laughs> channel. We just, dude. I I just I can't help it. I gotta just. Sit, I gotta just. I got to annoy people. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's not annoying people. Yeah. Uh, my man, my man, WTF, it's wow. Uh -oh. With the super chat. Say. Rock over here mentioning about Kong and Godzilla. What about Ultraman and, and Gamora? What is it? Gamora? The other founding member fathers of the Kajuya film. What is that? Kaiju. 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 Kaiju that film? just means big monster in Japan. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, Ultraman, he's like that. He, he looks like a Power Ranger when he's really big. He fights Godzilla and stuff. Uh, well, we were just mentioning Cog and Godzilla because that's what's in the news right now. So yeah. Bloodsport, Bloodsport 1 is saying he's the anti Bret Hart. Oh, man. Dude, you know what? Can I say something controversial? Sure. Bret Hart annoys me. Really? Well, I don't think that's controversial. He's like a whining baby. Get him well, out of here. Listen, man. He's, you know, listen, he's old. He's been put through the ringer. You got to understand, dude, he's been screwed multiple times. He had his career. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, his career ended short by Goldberg by that kick to the head. That's annoying, dude. I read, I you know, I read up about that. I always knew there was a thing, but I actually like read up about it recently, yeah. and I was like, that's kind of like a shot to the mouth that they put him in the ringside two pack with Bret Hart, <laughs> like uh, yeah. Bret Hart and old Goldberg, yeah. like together. That's kind of yeah. that's like that's like listen, this is what we're doing. If you don't like it, too freaking bad. Yeah, that was – I mean, money – you know, that's what it is, though. Money go. you know, Bret Hart said, how much am I getting? He goes, yeah. it's all right. Yeah. Put uh, what is there. it? Yeah, East New York's finest is, say, is saying, dude, you're crazy. Leave the hitman alone. <laughs> uh, what, what is it? What is it? Josh is saying, I recently pre-ordered General Grievous on Sideshow. First time ever order. Pre-ordered a, a figure completely pumped. Yeah, that General Grievous is kind of cool, man, but I'm a little worried about the articulation. Hopefully they fix the issues with this because technically this is kind of like a re-release – from the from the original one, and I know the original one had a lot of issues with the articulation and being sturdy and whatnot. So hopefully they they fix those issues. Si Grievous seems like a nightmare for a toy. Like oh, it's just so many it's parts. Flimsy. It's got to be it's got to be flimsy because the whole body is basically hollow. Not yeah, it's like nothing. It's yeah. so uh, it's such an odd design. It's great. You know, I like the prequels, but I don't know what's going on there. What is it? Um, random, random question. In and uh, Hayabusa saying random question. Mm. In and out or Shake Shack? Shake Shack um, only uh, because I, yeah, that's East I'm Coast. Um, 
I haven't had In and Out, so I haven't had the pleasure. So Me I neither. Really so I can't really. The two. Yeah. So I'm gonna lean towards Shake Shack. I have eaten at Shake Shack numerous times, so mm. it is pretty they have good. Have them in Florida? Yeah. Oh, but nice. Yeah. Uh, Thor Thor Anacosta is saying nice hat. I think he's talking to you. No, I think he's talking to you. <laughs> You think? Oh, I got a hat. Dude, I didn't even know I had this on. Dude, dude, I got a hat on? What the hell? I was hell? just doing some sunbathing. What is this saying? Uh, Goldberg, Goldberg said he wants to have his retirement match in Israel. Uh-oh. No politics on the channel. Guys. I don't know if WWE would ever go to Israel, though. I mean, they went to Saudi. I don't even know where that... Dude, I I don't know anything that's going on in life in, except toys. Like, I yeah. really don't know anything. Yeah, I, I, I'm I with Rocco on this, guys. I definitely try... I don't watch the news. I try to stay away from all that stuff. How do you think because, we stay so young? On yeah, I know, right? Well, I've, I've got some... I've got the gray kicking in. I've got the salt and pepper going on in the, in the beard, so... What is it? Uh, East New York's Finest is saying, my dude looks like a bootleg Tom Cruise in that hat laughing my ass off. <laughs> I was I was like no one's I was like no one's roasting this hat, dude. I was like, what's going on? And now we're starting to get people. Thank we'll see, you. but we'll see because you're you know you listen. You're you're a guest on the channel. I think this They're is only the, this is only the what I think the second or third time you've been on. Yeah. So it's like you know people you know people don't want to you know ruffle feathers. Okay, they kind of want to listen. Rocco has that type of personality. If you dish it, he could take it and he'll dish it right back. Yeah. So. Yeah. I can't help it. Uh, that's why me and Seth get along. But dude, I had uh, I had Joe, you know, real shift yeah. on the chat last night, and the chat was roasting him so why? What bad. What did you do? I don't know. <laughs> just people just started roasting him. Like people were like, "You look like Adam Sandler and Little Nicky." And like, oh my god! Were, and it was, but it was fun. Like we had we had fun with it. But I was just like, "Why are they? They're roasting him so hard." That yeah, my chat. I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on with my chat anymore. My live streams, my, my YouTube videos are great. Everyone's so yeah. polite and nice. Yeah. But my live streams, stuff gets weird. Listen, on there. this is probably has to be one of the best names I've seen yet. Stink, uh -oh. Stinky Cat Butt is saying Rocco the Great is my hero. Spelled every word of my name wrong. But yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. I like it. that though. Stinky Cat Butt. That's a, that's, yeah. a good, that's a good one. I like that. I like that. Uh, same here. I've been watching you both for over a year now. Well, thank you. Th thank you, NY's Finest. I appreciate, appreciate you. Uh, Bloodsport 1 MC, what licenses with Hot Toys oh, – what licenses oh. with Hot Toys would you like to make? Uh, I would like to see Thunder – I like you. I would like to see Thundercats. Um, I would like to see them make um, X-Men. They haven't made any X-Men other yeah. than um, the Wolf other than Wolverine. And But I rather – I want to see them make X-Men ones – um, I want to see them dive into um, certain certain movies. I would say, like they've made they've made Rocky ones already, and those are much older figures, uh -huh. and those and the portraits on those are a little off. So I would like to see them remake them now with the current time and the current machinery that they that they use, so the portraits would come out a little bit better. I'd be all over that. Um, what is that, Samo? Is saying hello from the UK. Yo, Seth, is that the Age of Ultron Hulk you have on the top left? My favorite. No, uh, that is actually the Hulk from the first Avengers movie. That oh, nice. That's the best. The first Avengers movie is great. Still. Yeah, yeah. So that's why, because like that's what I had. I just haven't actually unboxed the um the Hawkeye from that. Oh, you uh, have Hawkeye from the first movie. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that was what I was unboxing before I unboxed nice. the um the thing. So here he is. Here he is, right here. Yeah, let me see that. Yeah, that's the bat. That that was a nice little redesign they did. I yeah. like it. Now this is Hot Toys or Shot? Yeah, no, no, no. This is Hot Toys. I was gonna say that head looks really good. Yeah, <laughs> zing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's what she said. So speaking of that's what she said, can you share my screen real quick? Uh, hold on a second. One second. Milk truck just arrived. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, I need shit. to know what your I need to know what your chat has to say about this. Uh, you can you can do it, can't you? You click on the you share. To, I I share, but you have to say you have oh, to I like share it. the screen it. of the share. Oh, yeah. is this the eyelash? So so I was talking to Seth about this on my stream, and I and you didn't seem phased by this. No, this didn't turn Billie, you around no, at all. It's Billy Eilish, man. Yeah, but it's Billie Eilish actually looking like a girl, like, no. and and it didn't phase you. No, it didn't phase me because she's just disgusting to me. 
did nobody else in your your streams or your your comments in your videos like ever mention like oh Billie Eilish looks like a girl now? No, like, no, one, no. No one nope. gave you the updates. Nope. Yeah, I'm well, just every everyone everyone knows how I feel about the uh, about the eyelash. Hold on, look. You got this though. You got this, or you got. Look, you got this one. Ugh, Jesus. Or they're you got this. Disgusting. They're both disgusting. Uh, this is less disgusting. They're, you know what I mean? Both, it's not my. Disgusting. Okay, now this this or a hot topic manager Alexa Bliss. Oh, Alexa Bliss, hands down. I would do I would do unspeakable things to Alexa Bliss. We've already had that conversation. Ugh, All right, I put you. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, um, what is it? A uh, stinky cat butt is saying really like your dioramas and your hunts. Sorry, Rocco. Um, love to see Seth do the Rocco dance. What's the Rocco dance? You have a dance? I do so many dances. I wouldn't know which one is the Rocco dance. Mm. Um, what do you, uh, Samala saying, what do you think of the Angly Hulk from the 2003 movie? To me, oh, that shit. version has the most character would love to. Dude, that Angly Hulk from 2003 was horrible. Horrible. What are you doing? What did Rocco run off to? He's got to go poop. Did you go poop? Hell yes to new articulated Rocky figures, but please not by Hasbro. No, I want Hot Toys to do it, Thor. I want Hot Toys to do it. What is he doing? Diarrhea, probably. Oh, he's putting on a different hat, it looks like. No way it looked like the actual toy, dude. Rocco's hat had to poop. Oh, he's changing it. He's changing it up. People, people are saying that you had diarrhea and you had to run off the screen real fast. My, my, I always forget my charger for my computer, so um, I had to plug it in. Rocco, Rocco's hat had a poop. Did you, you, you hear my squeaky chair? Yeah, I just need to put some WD forty on that thing. It literally, everybody just roasts me all day for it. I almost don't want to fix it because it's like people won't have anything to comment about. Uh, Brandon is saying you look like Clockwork Orange. Great movie. Great movie. That would be nice for Hot Toys. I would buy the Hot Toy uh, Alex DeLonge. Marcus Wood said he took off the uh, the Lacey Evans hat. <laughs> yeah, you're right, dude. That is a Lacey. I, that was Hun's hat. I took yeah. that from him. The, the last Ronin is saying we need a toy hunt video with Seth and Rocco. We got this, this close. We got this close. This month, we got yeah. this close. We were like, we were like three, three hours away from each other. We were that close. But I was stranded. If I had if the car rental didn't Yeah, we could have met through, each other halfway. It, we yeah. could we could have met each other halfway. Listen, next time we're doing, you know, no family stuff. We're going there just us. And yeah. we will have the rental car. It will happen, guys. It, it, it will either happen this year or next well, year for sure. If I come up, if I come up to New York, if I come up to New York this summer. Oh we're, yeah, we're, we could destroy we're, Manhattan. We're, we're making we're making it happen. If Dude, I come... me and you in Manhattan, that is like a five part series right That's there. That's like a five part. Yeah, I could cut that up to five videos. Let's oh, do my... it. Well, yeah, because we can hit up we can hit up Toy Tokyo, we can hit up mm. Forbidden Planet. Oh, um, dude, I can, can show up, you some spots. We can hit up can uh, what me, was it? Sure. Uh, Midtown uh, Midtown Comics. Yes. Um, I don't know what I don't know what else what else is out there because those are the only three spots that I went to. I know some um, good ones that I don't want to just give out yet because I want us to go and pillage them first. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, we could do a meetup too. We could say, guys, we'll be here. Come meet yeah, up. We'll be us. here. Come meet. If you want to hang out with Seth and Rocco the Great, mm. come on, come on out. We did that. I actually did that in New York when I went to uh, New York Comic Con back in 2019. Oh, nice. Um, I had I Thursday, uh, Thursday I was at I was at the con all day, and then Friday I actually did a meetup in the city. With um, with some subscribers and some friends and stuff. Awesome. So we hit up, we hit up a whole bunch of whole bunch of stores, and then in the afternoon we actually went back to uh, the Comic Con, mm. and then uh, Saturday, um, I actually went into Queens to go see spend the day with my family. Oh, perfect. And my family actually took me to uh, Wrestling Universe. Oh, where is so that? That's in uh, Flush. It's in uh, Flushing. Oh, okay. And okay. dude. That had to be like the most craziest wrestling figure store like I've ever been to. Queens has some really good mom and pop shops yeah. that are like wild, really. Yeah, the, the, this guy, this guy's place was loaded floor to ceiling wrestling figures. Dude, the dude even had a 
um, a basement underneath the store, and it was still, still floor to ceiling wrestling figures. It was it was crazy. Dude, the the con today was a little overwhelming. It really, really was. Like, there's just there was so much to look at that it made me it like turned me off. I it, it was really wild because dude, everyone had so much plentiful figures. It's like wild. It was wow. so much wrestling. You would have loved it, really. I I saw a lot of hot toys for decent, dude. They had like sideshow jokers for like hundred dollars. Like they had really good prices. I just wasn't trying to spend. So there's a there's a toy. There's actually a toy uh, toy show coming up um, in a couple of weeks in Orlando. Mm. That I'm probably gonna go. I'm probably gonna go to just so it's you know it's fresh. It's fresh content. I haven't been to a toy show in a while. Mm. So Orlando's like two and a half, like a two and a half hour drive drive for me. Mm. So. I'll probably drive. I'll probably drive up there for the day just to um, check out, just to see what that toy show is all about. See if I can find some cool shit, dude. I so I drove an hour, right? I was an hour ish away from uh, the toy con, right in Jersey. That's not bad. The the people in front of me made me feel so stupid. The people in front of me drove from Ohio, oh, shit. ten hours. To wow. come to go see Mythic Legions, ten hours, wow. dude. Well, that's that's commitment, dude. I was complaining about driving an hour. <laughs> These dudes came ten hours from Ohio. The last the last Ronin is asking Rocco, how many hats do you have? Too many. You guys don't even understand. Mister Twenty Two is saying he looks like Johnny Depp from Willy Wonka. Yes. Yeah, I can, I can um, see that for sure. Some uh, Samala saying, "Come to the UK. You guys can stay at my place, and I'll arrange." I'll arrange hose, JD, and beer. <laughs> hose. Oh, you got me at the hose. I actually went to the UK. We went to London when I w we went to go uh, to Italy, and then we went to London. And I think I'm good with Europe. So. Yeah. Sorry. Um, <laughs> the last Ronan, yes, I would love to see Hot Toys make WWE uh, six scale figures. You know, uh, I, I I know Storm. You want? I, oh, I, I'd want them all. I you know obviously I'd want Hogan Nash and Hall to do an NWO. <sighs> um, you know, I would want I would want to see him. I would want to see him punk. Um, the, dude, there's Ooh, so dude, there's so many yep. there's so many guys. I would I would honestly want. Dude, I can't pipe even think bomb? Of, yeah, pipe the pipe bomb is the be, is the best. Yeah. Um, uh, Cellcom is saying, Seth, are you planning on going to toy hunt in Super Gabby's unit? Um, I don't know. I don't know about Super Gabby's unit. I'm still trying to um get in buddy buddy ish with with Matt to see if I can make that happen. So that I don't know how that's gonna work, but uh, we'll see. Um, my man Diamond Dave is in the chat. What's up, Dave? Uh, the Diamond last Dallas, Ronin, Dave. Yeah, the 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 last Ronin is saying Undertake an Undertaker six scale figure. That would be sick. Um, Enter Bay makes the NBA figures. They could do wrestling. Well, Storm Collectibles actually put out six scale uh, six scale wrestling figures. They actually put out an NWO Hogan. Uh, six scale figure and a, and a uh, red and yellow Hogan, but dude, those figures are hard. so hard to find. Okay. okay, yeah, it's crazy, right? Yeah, they're like I think the the cheapest the cheapest time I saw it, I think the NWO one came up once on eBay. It was like seven hundred bucks. <gasps> but just I, just wait for the bootlegs. Yeah, but I do like the uh, the Enter Bay figures. I actually want to pick up that Enter Bay Michael Jordan. Yeah, you know, that is that is a sick figure. Dude. Yeah. I like this. It comes with all the sneakers and everything, and it is a good looking, good looking figure. It comes with like the all the different types of jerseys. Um, a Ray uh, WTF one is saying a Ray Mysterio six scale figure that would be cool. Well, technically, Ray Mysterio would have to be twelve scale <laughs> he because of, be. how, <laughs> oh, because of how, how how short he is. Um, the actor for Drax from Guardians of the Galaxy quit the movie. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a well, Dave, he's Dave Batista, well, Dave I know Batista, you like him. I'm sorry. I know you like him, but he's he's losing it on Twitter. He, he's a wild man on Twitter. Really? What's the, I don't I don't go, I'm not he's on just, Twitter. He's so. like he whines like a like a little baby like all the time like he's I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, don't ever follow people you like on Twitter. That's the that's like what you learn from <laughs> it, 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 yeah, it, it, it 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 devalues your opinion your opinion of them. Yeah. I'm sorry. What were you were saying about uh, Batista? Oh, oh, so Batista. So I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not like a like a super duper Batista fan, but he did, he did do a really good job as Drax. Um, you know, well, but he, I think he was complaining that they never let him be Drax the Destroyer. I actually agreed with him there. They were like, yeah, they always wrote him like he's a dummy, and he they, he never got to be the Destroyer. That's one time yeah, I actually agreed with him. That's true. That's true. So I mean, who knows if they're gonna replace if they're gonna replace him or they're gonna kill him off. You know, 
Uh, do you think the Nets could win the finals this year? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not a Nets fan. I'm a Knicks guy. So um, all a because Goldberg of the hot toy would be dope. A Goldberg, yeah, Goldberg hot toy would be kind of cool. Sean, My- Sean Michaels. Oh, Sean, dude, DX like yeah, the like whole DX. like you do China a DX everything. like a DX two pack yeah. of just Sean Michaels and Tri- Sean Michaels and mm. Triple H, or you or if you want, you do the whole like a whole major pack, a three pack. Of, a no, three no, pack. no, not even a three pack. You do the whole squad where it's. Where it's uh, oh, Hunt, where, 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 where it's Hunter, Billy Gunn, Road Dog, uh, China, um, X Pac, and uh, you got to yeah. sell your children to buy that one. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like a two thousand. That's like a two thousand yeah. dollars set. <laughs> oh, Road Warriors. Oh yeah, Dude, the, Legion Warriors. Of the Legion of Doom two pack. Yeah, that would be cool. That oh, would I, be cool. I read it as Road Warrior. Like uh, well, you well, know, yeah, Max, that's what they. Max, oh man, oh, I Mad meant Max. Uh, I, yeah, Max, uh, Mad Max. Sorry mm-hmm. about that. I was like, oh yeah, Mad Max. They probably have that already. Uh, I'm I'm sure there's there's third party companies that uh, that have done that. So, but yeah, yeah, man. I mean, I, I hope I hope they I hope WWE gives out a license to somebody soon to start making six scale six scale figures again because I really want to see those six scale WWE figures. That's something I would go. I would go ape shit for, and I'd probably pre-order every single one under the gun. Oh, so, Ric Flair would make yeah, a great Ric, Ric Flair. So yeah. I actually have. Um, I don't know if you know who uh, PCS Studios is. They're no. a statue. They're a statue company. Okay. They actually made um, a statue of the Ultimate Warrior, a statue of Ric Flair, a statue of The Rock, um, and they made a statue of The Undertaker, and they also made a statue of Stone Cold. I actually pre-ordered the one. That they made of Stone Cold, so I'm waiting. I'm waiting for that to come in. That should be. I like that. I I could di- I could dig a, a Rikishi, yeah. Wait, yeah, Rikishi. A, a one six scale Rikishi with like the realistic skin butt. That, so oh, the silicone. Like yeah, a, the, yeah, the silicone. Yeah. yeah, the silicone. Yeah, him like and Scott, him, him, Grandmaster Flash and Scotty Too Hotty. Dude, there too many, dude, too many. I want to. Yeah. Someone said a Seth hot toy. Then, and when you poke you poke the belly, it goes hot. Toys. Yeah, <laughs> those hot toys. No, it's like it makes a step, step that uh, stepdad's voice. Okay. So, so far away. <laughs> He's, isn't he wild, dude? Dude, your stepdad freaking kills me on on dude, TikTok, dude. He is like that in per like he is fun in person, man. Yeah. He, I'm very lucky because you know sometimes you can have like a stepdad who's like a a DB, you know. Oh, there's no question. But yeah, your your freaking stepdad's hilarious, dude. Every time I go on TikTok, there's a new video. <laughs> He's like, look at the people, look at the people in the tiny house eating the tiny food. Yeah, uh, rice. <laughs> yeah, rice. Uh, Samal, I heard an old Kate Bush track on the radio today. And I thought of Seth immediately. The song was called the man with the child in his eyes. Nice type. The man with the child in his eyes. That uh, just sounds like, a I like that. Yeah. yeah that I, just sounds almost pred- preterish. Yeah. I don't know how I feel. Uh, the Undertaker would be sick with a detailed base. Absolutely. Hmm. If a you have like, yeah. Dude, could you imagine being able to get a, a six scale Undertaker figure and he comes like the old school, like when he first came into the dude with the little the, smoke machine. Yeah, no, not even that. And you can pose him to where you can get him down on one knee mm. and hold, have him holding the urn yeah. like that. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Hundred percent. They they have to do that. Oh, yeah. And the druids, the droids, what? the druids. It's not the druids you're looking for. Yeah, it's not the druid. She's a Jewish princess. What's that? You never seen Spaceballs? Oh yeah, I saw Spaceball. Yeah, I yeah. wait. Did I tell you the story? I might have told Joe this. I actually listen to this. People are gonna freak out in the chat probably. I saw, I saw Spaceballs before I saw Star Wars. Oh, well, there's nothing wrong with that. But but it kind of might have skewed your opinion of Star Wars a little bit, though. Yeah, yeah, it was interesting. Yeah, it, yeah, it was weird. I only do you know this? This is also crazy. I only watched Star Wars in like 2010. For the first time. Okay. That's okay. I mean, listen, I didn't watch, I, I, you know, I didn't watch the, um, what is it? The, the Godfather until I was like 25. Well, you're not Italian though. So, 
But I well, sat down and Italian. I started watching it, and I was hooked. And I started, and then I wa- and there was a marathon on, so I watched the whole. Oh, nice. So I watched all of them, Beautiful. and I was like, oh, and I was like, man, I was like, now I can understand why like people just wish the third one never happened. Yeah, I never, I never watched it because in in an Italian household, you watch yeah. there's like a few Italian movies you have to watch growing yeah. up, and three is barred in a lot of Italian households. Oh yeah. Yeah, so. I'm sure. I'm sure. Bronx, Bronx Tale is one of them. Yes, Bronx Tale. My cousin Vinny. Yeah. Casino, Casino. Even though Casino's not, it's it's considered an Italian movie, even though it's not really a, an Italian movie. Like it has yeah. nothing to do. Uh, Goodfellas is kind of like the top one. <laughs> Somali, uh, Somali saying 2010 duties. Oh. Like you must be like 18 years old. Not clo- I'm 31, but I never was into like comic book nerd stuff until later on in life, which is yeah. Weird. Blood blood sport is like, no, everything wrong with that. LOL Rocco go home, sir. It's blasphemy. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I don't lie. I don't lie. That's my thing. I came into toys cause I'm a, I'm a movie fan. So yeah. that's why I like NECA. I like stuff like that. I'm not, I don't pretend to be like a big, I know there's a big stormtrooper right here, but I'm, I don't ever pretend to, to know more things about, uh, Jesse, Bronx how old? Tale, bro, of course. Jess, Jesse, how old am I? I'm 38. Get your shine box. What is it? What, what is this? Diamond Dave is like we're no longer friends now that I know it took you that long to watch The Godfather. LOL. Oh, see, we're, <laughs> we're both losing people. I am not good. Listen, I am not good for people's channels, man. I'm, bro, I, Brandon, I, bro, Brandon E is saying cloudy with a chance of meatballs was tops in my household. I don't even know how to. to I like. I actually like Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. That was a good movie. That was a good movie. Even though uh, Andy Davis is saying Lake Bloomer, Bloomer, that's okay. That's okay. Thank you, Andy. Uh, We have some nice people in the chat. uh, Rocco Rocco Perosi is saying a uh, one six scale for the Fiend. Now I would take the miss when I see that. This is what happens with when you guys say the Fiend. You think of Bray Wyatt. I think of the Misfits Fiend. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. And they uh, stole that from, you know, from like the old silent movies. I don't even know how they get away with that. They stole the, the Fiend. The Misfits logo is an old silent movie character. Hmm. Interesting. I don't, yeah. Uh, Anthony Davis is uh, – Andy Davis is saying, no way Seth is a day – one day over 26. Honestly, you, you look like a 32. I'm not even yeah. joking. 32. Uh, Samal Samal is saying Copland Copland Cop you blew film. it yeah Copland is a good film uh Juan, uh WTF Juan is saying I'm 21 and I didn't watch Godfather until I was 19 exactly well with the name like Juan it makes sense you, <laughs> oh my god if you're no if you're Italian you have you are it this is part of your like you don't you don't watch it's a, her- it's a heritage it's like a rite that. of passage yeah exactly you know? so you know it, I especially, guess especially when you're like, Juan is okay. Like, Probably especially when you're a kid and you're watching it and it gets to the part with the horse head in the bed. <laughs> you don't even know. Yeah, you don't even know what's going on until yeah. you're older, but you still yeah. you still remember it. Listen, if there's not one thing I enjoy more than anything, it is going back and re-watching movies hmm. from when I was a kid, now as an adult, because <laughs> you can under you understand so much more. So much. And it makes the movie so much better. You know? Hundred percent. There's so many fun adult jokes that you never yep. got. So one, so one of the, so one of the movies that I love going back and and watching from the eighties, it's called uh, Parenthood. It's with Steve Martin and um, and Keanu Reeves was in it, but Rick Moranis, a bunch of bunch of people in it. Great, great movie from the from the eighties. You know about you know parents bringing up their kids mm. and everybody having issues and everything. And there's a part in the movie where one of the wives is talking to the other wife, saying about how like when the husband would tense up back in the day, she would give him a BJ to help him, to help him relax. So she's like, so she, and she's like, Oh, that works. And she goes, yeah, all the time. So there's a scene later on in the movie where Steve Martin and the, the woman playing his wife are driving in the car. Oh no! And she's like, what's the matter? He's like, I'm just tense. Everything is tense because everything just bothers me. She's like, Oh, maybe I could do something to help. And then next thing you know, she unbuckles her seatbelt and goes into his lap. Oh my god! And and then the next thing is that the car the car crashes, <sighs> and then he's talking to the uh, they're talking to the police officer, and she's like, "I'm so sorry, I didn't mean this mean for this to happen." So then the police officer looks at Steve Martin and goes, "So tell me, how did this happen?" And then Steve Martin looks at his wife and goes, "Honey, you want to show him?" <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> 
He fucking kills me every time. Steve Martin. Steve Martin's great, dude. I love Steve, Steve Martin, Martin is, dude. It's Listen. okay. You just said that scene. Hold on. I'm, you just said that scene, and I don't know if your fans are Snyder. Are you a Snyderverse fan? Mm-hmm. I didn't like I didn't like the the the, the, the recut Justice League movie. Okay, that was, yeah, I yeah. I don't even watch it. But um, uh, the Snyderverse supposedly his new movie Army of the Dead opens up with the scene, and this isn't a spoiler. That scene you just ex- explained is the opening scene for the Army of uh, Army of the Dead, the new Snyderverse movie, and that's how the zombie apocalypse starts. Is oh, that Jesus crazy? Is that crazy? Well, it's on Netflix. So I'll have to check it out. Uh, uh, Joe said it wasn't good. Okay, and he's uh, a he's a big Snyder fan. So oh, I'm I'm sure he's, he's a big let, movie yeah, guy. He's let down. Uh, Brandon E is saying the jerk is a the national jerk. treasure. Love that movie. Calls yeah. the dog calls the dog shithead. I love it. Um, <laughs> uh, what that is movie's that? very dated yeah. for the, today's standards. Oh yeah, Thor twenty nine forty one is saying the vibrator scene was hilarious. Yes, that mm-hmm. was great. Steve Martin, the, they lose power, and Steve Martin's like, "Oh, don't worry, I'll go find a flashlight." And they're at his sister in law's house, so he goes into the house, and then all of a sudden the oh. power comes back on, and he goes, "Oh, I think I found it," and he turns it on, and he's holding his sister's oh, vibrator my, in his hand. Oh my god, oh, dude, it was so freaking hilarious. And then the mother, the, the there was a little girl, and she's like, "What was that? It was awfully loud." And she's like, "Oh, it was." A, the mother was like, "Oh, it's an electronic ear cleaner." Oh my god! <laughs> uh, Rocco is saying, "Big zombie fan." It was a three out of ten for him. How are there two Roccos in the chat right now? That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know. It's Rocco meets Rocco. And that last name is so damn Italian. Holy yeah, it is. moly. Yeah, it is. Uh, Rocco Parosi. Parosi. Uh, you have to roll the pa- R. It's like Rosie. It's funny. My name is actually Rocco. Rocco. It's, it's no rock. There's no yeah. R A, you know, and but yeah. You know, it's just easy. American is Rocco, so. <laughs> uh, Patrick's collectible saying Army, the Army of the Dead was kind of okay, to be honest. So. Well, that's – is that a, a ringing endorsement? When you say – when you mention a movie, right, like The Avengers, everyone yeah. – you, you, you go, oh, that movie was awesome. I just bought this expensive toy for it, right? You never want to hear like, oh, it, was, it was all right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Samala so, so, so saying Rocky Four, great 80s movie. Listen, Rocky Four – Basically sums up the eighties for me. Hot song. That, fire. that the, the the montage when he's in the when he's in the car. There's no easy, easy way, way out. out. There's no short no go home. home. Yeah, it was the movie. Can we sing loaded, that real quick? The movie was just loaded that? with montages. Can we just so. sing that song really quick? Yeah. There's no, no easy, easy way, way out. out. There's no, no short home. home. There's, There's no, no easy way out. Give it a little bit Beautiful. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry for people's ears out there. Bloodsport was a great. Bloodsport was a great movie. Roxanne was a classic. Top mm. Gun was a great movie. King Benny, what's up, Seth and Rocco? Hot Toys Lounge is gonna be on sat from now on because the Lego lounge is on Thursday. No, no, I just decided to come live tonight just to hang out with you guys cuz you know I really had nothing to do and Yeah, I, I was hang like out with everybody. That's on right now. Yeah, I, I know, like, right? Oh, it's just yeah, it's just a, it's a, it's an odd thing. I might start coming on I might start coming on more on Saturdays, but uh you know, I don't know. I just you know, I'm just coming on just shoot the shit and have some fun. Um, the best Blood, ones? Blood Sport is saying the cats are singing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hot toys, <laughs> hot toys. All right, guys, I'm actually going to wrap it up because I am starving and oh. I need to go eat. Um, Rocco, I love you, buddy. Thanks for jumping on. Yeah, I'm glad we got to talk, bro. Guys, um, I'm going to change the description and I'm going to change everything in the description. If you guys haven't already, um, I'll leave the link. Make sure you go check out Rocco. Um, go show him some love and support. He's a good buddy of mine, oh, and uh, you know, so go again. Go subscribe to his channel. Go show him some love. Um, he puts out toy hunts on a daily basis, and trust me, you don't want to miss those toy hunts. They they are quite quite funny and quite entertaining. So, so damn, I'm gonna have. I want. I want. You- I want you to say nice things like that all the time. To I me. do say That's nice bad. things about no, that. You really do. You really um, do. That was nice. And, Thanks, and as far as we go, guys, again, like I said, we are less than 40 subs away from 30K. So let's make oh, that yeah. happen. Also, guys, if you're just coming in, make sure you hit that thumbs up button on the way out as well. Um, Thanks for watching. Um, appreciate everything. Um, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Check out all the excellent stuff we offer at MCE. And with that being said, thanks for stopping in the lounge. 
and uh, you stay classy and uh, let me uh, let me sing you guys out. It's so hard to say goodbye to all you in the chat. Thanks for joining me and Rocco as we're watching us on this live stream. Yeah! I just right, want guys. a toy hunt. And I just want a toy hunt. I'm Every gonna, day. I'm going to end this broadcast because it's great. <laughs>